Hey guys, so today I have my September favorites. So just products that I've been really enjoying this month and I have them all in here for you. I also have a lot of kind of random favorites that aren't beauty related like clothing, jewelry, stuff like that. And I don't usually talk about other things, but I figured why not? So look who made it. <laughs> the first thing is my beauty blender and I didn't really know what the hype was about these. I thought, um, I don't know, $20 for a sponge? It's a little crazy. But if you think about it, that's how much you're paying at least for a foundation brush. Which actually, if you think about it, is less than a brush would be. But um, I have been loving this. It is kind of a hassle to washing, like, washing all the time. I feel like it's kind of annoying, but technically it's way more sanitary and probably what you're supposed to do with your makeup brushes, but I don't. But it just gives you such a flawless um, appearance of your foundation. It kind of shears out whatever foundation you have, and it just makes it, you can't even see it on your skin. It just looks so good and even, and I'm really impressed. So uh, I feel like every foundation that I use now, this kind of makes it that much better. Next is my Lorac Pro To Go palette, and sorry if my voice is a little off right now. I've been kind of battling a cold. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but yeah. So I have been loving this palette a lot lately. I have been using this almost every single day. Um, and I'm going to be doing a look, a day look and a night look with this soon. So um, stay tuned for that. So I have been loving like this kind of shimmery bronze color. I've been just putting that all over my lid. Um, and not even using eyeliner today I did, but I've just been doing that all over my lid with mascara and it just really makes my eyes and my lashes pop. Been loving it. And then the other side has the two blushes and bronzer. And I've been using this coral one a lot lately, but these are just really pretty, really pigmented and it's a really good palette to travel with. Next I have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. And this is a pressed powder and you just apply it to places that you want a little bit more light to hit. Um, and I apply it with the brush. It comes in this little thing by Hourglass as well. And it's a very dense brush and it really helps to apply it. But ever since I've been using this powder, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin. And it has one thing to do with the actual skincare I've been using because I've been changing up a lot of my products. But the other thing I think it's because of this powder because I haven't been using um, highlighters at all this entire month. Like even today it looks like I have a highlighter on but I don't. It's just this powder. So I had put it kind of on like um, my forehead, my nose and I set my under eye concealer with it and it just like gives my face such a radiant kind of dewy glow from within look and it's just so pretty it really camouflages your pores and totally recommend this next is my Tarte blush and exposed and I have been using this blush a lot this month and it's just been a really easy blush to pop on goes with everything and it's just kind of like a a very neutral um, kind of brown mauve color but it just looks really nice on your cheeks um, just kind of warms you up and it's just a very just wearable blush it lasts a long time and it's good pigment um, it's just a really high quality blush so I do want to try more Tarte blushes I just haven't gone around to pick some up but someday I will last for makeup is my Benicos natural Kajal eyeliner in mine's in blue I don't know what blue it is this is oh, night blue and it's just a navy blue liner and it's super pigmented it's natural which is great and it's very creamy so I like to just pop this on my waterline which I did today and then I just take a um, like a black or blue shadow and just kind of set it and it just lasts all day it doesn't irritate my eyes and it's just a very nice like deep blue and I just have been loving this and I'm getting the black one too soon I just placed my order so um I have a beauty haul coming up and that'll be in there. Moving on to skincare, which has been kind of my favorite kind of thing this month. I've just been 
just really liking everything that I've been using and I'm going to do an updated skincare routine soon. I will do a morning one and a night one so you guys can see the different products that I use because I use a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> I switch a lot of things up so my skin never really gets used to certain products. I just kind of keep it on its toes. But here are the couple things that I've been really liking. The first is, well I guess I'll go in order. Um, these two cleansers have been my go-to. The Cebu Facial Cleanser is amazing and you can use this to get rid of your makeup. It has light exfoliating beads in here, not it's not much at all. But I keep this in the shower and it's just so refreshing, it's so soothing and it's just really, really good for your skin and it's all natural and cruelty free. And the other cleanser that I've been using is the Andalou Naturals Creamy Cleanser in Meyer Lemon. And this is from their Brightening line and I've been using a lot of products from their Brightening line. I've been using this with my Clarisonic and I use it my night and morning kind of whenever and it just is so refreshing and gentle and it doesn't burn my eyes so I can use it like if I have excess mascara on and it won't sting or anything. It just feels so good. So these two have just been really good to my skin lately and I feel like I will never need a different cleanser. Like there's no need to kind of stray from these two because they've been doing really good things for my skin. And then another product by Amelou Naturals from their brightening line that I've been really loving is the serum. So this is the Turmeric and C Enlighten Serum. I've been loving serums lately. They just feel like, I feel like my skin just soaks them up and they feel just so moisturizing and I feel like I'm getting so many vitamins to my skin. And I really like this one because it's a little bit thicker than the Cebu one that I was using before this one. And it just, it just feels so nice on my skin. And with all of these brightening products, I just noticed a huge difference in the tone of my skin. And the reason that I, like, I was watching my previous tutorials and you can just tell my skin was just a lot more red then. Um, it wasn't as even and just looking at my more recent tutorials, my skin just looks a lot more even without makeup. So, and a lot of you guys have mentioned that too. You, a lot of you guys have been asking what skincare I've been using because you can tell my skin looks uh, a lot better. Next I have the Jurlique Skin Balancing Face Oil. And this is a blend of a bunch of different oils. First, I was just using it all over my skin as just an oil, like my Josu Marin one. But what I've been doing lately is putting on my nighttime moisturizer and then just putting a couple of drops of this with that. And it just kind of adds a little bit more um, moisture to my skin. And it smells amazing. And I feel like I like this one better than my Josie Marin Argan Oil because it's since it's a blend of a bunch of oils, I feel like... I'm getting more out of it than just my Josie Marimont, if that makes sense. I honestly think it's worth the price because I know a lot of people think it's ridiculous to spend that much money on an oil. Well, hi. Um, but you really don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way. So, like, this little bit's going to last me forever. One last product I wanted to mention for skincare is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. And this has Argan Stem Cell and Chlorella Growth Factor. And it's supposed to, you know, brighten your skin. So it's hard for me to tell whether this is brightening my skin or if it's this with a combination of my other brightening products, but everything all together has just helped my skin. This is just a really good scrub. It is like a dark green color. And you guys know before I was using the Avalon Organic Scrub, which I love just as much. They're just different. This one feels really good on your skin though. It feels very natural and kind of raw, uh, but it's good. It's like just feels like it gets rid of any dead skin cells and just leaves my skin feeling very soft and smooth and has just amazing ingredients in here. So I highly suggest this. I know a lot of you guys are wondering if I liked it or not because I hadn't mentioned it yet, but I wanted to like thoroughly try it out and see what I thought about it. So I do love it and um, I would definitely buy this again. Okay, a couple jewelry favorites. So the first one is this cuff and this is by Twisted Silver and I think this is the coolest cuff ever. I think it's like their Egyptian something, Egyptian cuff, but it's supposed to change the color like as it ages, but I just think it's so cool and unique. It bends a little bit so you can tighten it on your wrist, but I just think it's so cute for fall and I have just been loving this. The other bracelets that I've been really liking are these 
uh, beaded ones by Shop Maven LA and I have they come in sets so this one is I don't know what this one is called I'll put it down below but each set has a couple different bracelets and they all have like little different things to them like this one has a little bit of a chain attached to it um, this one has like this little gemstone on here they're all just so cute and unique and they're all handmade by Nicole who I met at BeautyCon she's so nice so wonderful and um, I don't know it's just cool that they're handmade by her and I just like it's like her business and everything and I like supporting her so check her website out the next bracelet that I've been loving is my voice is cracking is this knotted bracelet it's like a fabric knotted bracelet and it's by uh, pop basic which is like you get three pieces a month and they all kind of go together so this shirt goes with it too and I didn't even plan on wearing them together but it just kind of happened oh jeez. Um, but I think it's just so cute. I just love like the knot and it kind of goes with everything. So I've been loving this bracelet. Two more things. One is a food thing. This is ah, brownies. These are by Gluteno and they're gluten free double chocolate brownies. These are amazing. They have chocolate chips in them and uh, they're made with what is it? Rice flour. But you could never even tell that they're gluten free. So good. Like me and Andrew finish these in less than two days they were just amazing so I will 100% be buying these again I found these off of Vitacost and then last I have a couple workout things I wanted to share with you because Andrew always says that I look like a slob when I work out and he thinks I just wear like the grungiest clothes and I, do I don't I wear like Nike shorts and just like a college t-shirt but apparently to him it's not it's not appropriate for the gym so I got these new clothes by Ellie and I just wore them to the dog meet yesterday, so they're not the cleanest right now. But here's the top that I have, and it's the, um, what is it called? Breath of Fresh Air top, I think. I'll put it down below. But it's like this really pretty teal color, and I love the back. It's like a twisted, just twist like that. And it drapes really nicely, and it's kind of loose so you don't feel like it's super tight. You know, sometimes you don't want to wear like a super tight shirt to the gym. Um, but it's just, I just think this is the cutest shirt and it's super stretchy and amazing. And then the capris, which have dog hair all over them, um, look like this. So they're just like the perfect length. They're not going to look like anything on the camera to you guys. But um, I will put a Instagram picture right here for you guys to see. So they, they go a couple inches below my knee, which I love. They're super stretchy and they're not like too thin to wear their see-through because I have some Calvin Klein ones and they're a little bit see-through so I don't like to wear them all the time but these are thick enough there's a plane going by these are thick enough to wear they're not see-through but they are breathable and super comfortable at the same time so I've been loving these I want to get the leggings that go right above your ankle next because I'm just really impressed so I will put a link down below and they gave me a coupon code I think it's 20% off, which is really, really good. I love these, and I want more, and I think Andrew wants me to get some more, too. <laughs> so that is everything for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I will put links down below so you can check some of these favorites out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!